My name is Randolfo Cafe, call sign KMG365, and in this video, I am going to very quickly explain what this radio is and what you can and cannot do with it. Everything I'm about to say applies not just to the Bufwang UV5R, but also to the BF F8HP and even the newer radios, such as this Bufwang AR5RM. Basically, if your radio looks like this, or if your radio looks like this, everything I am going to say applies. This radio is a hams radios, and our overlords at the FCCs have declared that to use a hams radios, thou must haveth a hams radios operator license, also known as an amateur radio license, no matter what. There is no exception to this declaration by the FCCs. That means that even if you just want to use it as a walkie-talkie to talk with your friends, even if you set the power to low, even if you use it only on non-hams frequencies, even if you promise not to bother anyone else. No matter what, the FCCs says that you must have a license to push this button on one of these radios. And if you were to disregard my warning that I just gave you, and if you use one of these radios to talk with your friends like a regular walkie-talkie, based on the FCC's public records over the last 15 years, if you were to do that, nothing would happen. The biggest question that everyone wants to know about these radios is what is the range or how many FARs can they talk? And how many FARs this radio can give is going to depend almost entirely on what is between you and the other radio that you want to talk with. There are other factors, but this is the biggest factor. These radios cannot talk through mountains or even around big hills or through thick forests. And the signal can be blocked by anything big and bulky, like houses full of fat people. So if you are on top of a mountain and your friend that you want to talk with is across the valley, 40 miles away on another mountain, you can talk to each other 40 miles away with no problem. If you're on that mountain and your friend is in the slums below, you can probably still talk with him up to around 15 miles away. If you're both in the slum and there are a bunch of houses full of fat people or trees or small hills between you and him, you might be able to talk two or three miles. If there are large hills or a lot of large steel and concrete skyscrapers between you and your friend, you might be lucky if you can get a half a mile. So the technical answer to the question of how many FARs these radios can give is, it depends. These radios are repeater capable, which means if you're trying to talk to your friend on the other side of a large mountain, and there was a repeater with a large antenna atop that mountain, that repeater could extend your range and give you many more FARs, theoretically up to 50 or 75 miles on both sides of that mountain. But for that, you would need to know some technical details about that repeater, and you would have to do some fancy programming on both of the radios beforehand to make use of that repeater. Can one of these radios talk with a regular walkie-talkie like this one? The answer to that is very simple. The answer is... It depends. And it depends on whether or not your particular radio is locked or not locked. A locked radio can only transmit on the hams radio's frequencies. So if you wanted to talk with your friend on his $9 Walmart walkie-talkie radio, it's not going to work. However, if your Bufwang UV5R was manufactured before around 2021, or if you have taken steps to unlock your radio, then yes, this radio can talk with a GMRS radio, an FRS radio, a MERS radio, and even one of these $9 Walmart radios. But to do that, you will need to know what frequency the other radio is using. Google can usually help you with that. And once you have that frequency, you have to put that frequency into your radio. To do that, your radio has to be in frequency mode, which you can usually accomplish by pressing the big orange button, and then you just type the frequency in, pull the talk trigger, and start talking. And finally, contrary to popular misinformation and lies that you might find on the internet, you can use one of these radios as a scanner to listen to police, fire, and ambulances. If, and this is a very big if, if the police and fire and ambulance companies in your area are not transmitting digital signals. This radio is what us radio experts refer to as an 
analog radio, so it cannot decode digital or encrypted signals. It can receive those digital signals, but they would just sound like this. But even if the police or whatever it is you want to listen to is transmitting digital signals, there is usually still lots of other stuff that you can listen to in your area if you know the frequencies, which you can usually very easily find with the help of Google. All that being said, the scanning on these radios is very slow. A real scanner can scan through dozens or even hundreds of frequencies per second. But on a good day, the Bufuang UV5R goes through about two frequencies per second. I told you this video would be short, but if you still have questions about your Bufuang UV5R or similar radio, leave a comment and someone will probably come by and answer it for you eventually.